Hello everyone, I'm Mike Anderson from Collision Advice and this is my great friend Danny Gredenberg from the DEG. And we are so excited to be working with SCRS to bring you a brand new series of quick tips to help you to boost your business. Welcome to this week's estimating tip. Today we're going to talk about welder setup and performing a destructive test weld. In the collision repair industry, we have so many different types of welders. We also need to follow the OEM procedures to ensure that we're performing a safe and proper repair. Some manufacturers also require a tester, a welder, a destructive weld done to ensure that the welder is functioning properly, even though it's an automatic welder. So in this example, we have a two layer spot weld that was called out as a required step. We performed the destructive test and this is a passing weld. So again, it's always important to follow the OEM procedures when needing to perform a destructive test weld. Another type of machine that we have here is a MIG mag welder. This machine has three different wires, three different guns to, to perform on steel, aluminum, or even do a silicon bronze weld. Again, with this type of machine, even though it's not a smart machine, you still need to perform a destructive test weld. As we can see in this example here, this is a passing weld. Now we can weld on the vehicle. We're also ensuring that the proper wire, gas, and settings are set up on this machine. The last thing to remember is whenever performing welds is to ensure the consumables used, such as these welding tips, are always cleaned and replaced as recommended by the uh, welder manufacturer, and also making sure that you're following the OEM procedures to ensure the proper caps are being used on the machine. For more information on performing a destructive test weld, we have a link in the uh, description box below. You can watch about performing a destructive weld and how to document those steps. Thank you and have a great day. If you find these tips helpful, Please subscribe, like, and share, and comment below for any future suggestions. Thank you for watching.